Hello and Namaste. I'm Suresh Kunal. You are most welcome to this session. Uh, in this session, we are talking about the section breaks in Microsoft Word. We will talk about what is section break, why it is needed, what does it do, similarly the different kinds of section breaks and finally we will uh, talk about the differences between the page break and the section break. Let's begin with what is a section break. Well, a large document can be divided into many parts so that it's easier to manage. So those different parts or the different chapters uh, can be called the, the different sections in a in MS Word document. And these section breaks are the marks uh, that divides those different uh, sections. So essentially, it's a marker that splits your document document's pages into sections that can have different formats or layout. Let me show you that mark. So when you are in MS Word, uh, if you insert a section break like break and continuous so here you have inserted a section break mark let me show you go to the home and turn on the show hide non-printing characters so you can see here a section break of continuous kind is inserted just above this paragraph so everything before this mark like these paragraphs are on the first section and everything after this mark like these paragraphs are on the second section, section number two. So this mark, this one, with double dotted uh, lines with a section break in middle. So this mark is a section break mark. So a section break mark, uh, section break is a marker which splits the document into uh, multiple sections. And why these uh, different sections are created in a document? It's because you may need different headers and footers, a different format of column numbers, margin layouts, and so on. For that purpose, we insert section breaks. Now, what's there in section break? Well, these are the section formattings, like columns, uh, newspaper style columns, and footnotes, endnotes, like where you want to place the footnotes and endnotes, Similarly, headers and footers, uh, line numbering, margins, uh, page borders, page numbering, uh, paper size or orientation, whether portrait or landscape, a uh, paper source for a printer, vertical alignment of text, these things, uh, these formats are the section formattings. And the information about these format is stored in that section break mark. Like I'll show you here. Here's the section break mark. Let me turn off the show hide button. Now, this is on the first section. Let me insert some random text equals to R-A-N-D and turn on the show hide button. Like here is a section break mark. And in place of this, let me insert another random text. Enter. So now there are two sections. One before this marker and another after this marker. Both sections are on the same page. Now, if I apply two column format for the first section, place your insertion line somewhere inside that first section. Go to the layout and choose columns and say two column or three column. Let me apply three columns. You saw that the there are three columns on the first section but no column on the second section. So this column formatting, like there were, there were three sections or many more other formats also related to the column, like uh, whether there is a line between those columns or not, and what is the space between the columns, and if they are equal column width or the columns were of different size, all this information about the column is stored in that section break mark. Now, where is that section break mark? This one. It's here. This double line, section break. So now, if you delete this section break mark, then all the column formatting applied on this section will be deleted. And this section will take, will inherit 
the formatting of the following section, the section number two. And what is there in section number two? It's a single column format. So let me delete this. You saw that the first column also is now on the single column as earlier, isn't it? So control Z to undo. Let me preserve that three column format for there. And for the second column, I will use the two column layout. Columns, two column. Now the second section is two column and the first section is three column layout. And the information about this section is stored in the section break. At this spot, let me insert one section break, a layout break and next page section break. So what does it do? It breaks the current section at the insertion point, the place where the insertion line was and starts a new section on a new page. Now your new section is on the page number two. Okay, I hope this way you understood that the column formats are being stored on the section break mark and there can be different column layout for the different sections in a document. So whenever you need to start a new column layout, you need to insert a section break there. Either you insert it or the MS Word will insert it automatically based upon how you have applied the column format. Similarly, the endnote footnotes also, header, footer, information, line numbering, all these informations are stored on the section break mark. Now let's look at the types of section break. They can be next page, continuous, even page, or odd page. I have a sample document here, a sample manuscript, which has uh, two, three, four, which has four different chapters and the reference page at the last. So if I insert the uh, section breaks here, how should I do it? So just before this abstract, I will insert one section break and that will be the next page section break. On the current page, I will place only this information and on the next page, there will be this abstract. This abstract will take one whole page or section and this introduction will go to the next section. So somewhere here before this introduction, I will insert a new section break. Let's suppose we have agreed to start the new chapters, every new chapters on the uh, even page so that all the chapters will start on the right hand side of the book. So if I choose this even page here, my current page number is page number two. And when I, when I insert a break even page at this point, the new section will start on the page number four. So from page number two, we jump to the page number four. This previous section abstract, it was in page number two. Look at the status bar, it's two out of eight. And the next section, this introduction, is jumped to page number four. It started from page number four, which is the even number, the next even number available after that page number two. Uh, okay, there the even number uh, section break we have inserted. And there is another section required for this formatting, the page, chapter number two. This also will start on the even, even page. And another chapter, this. Chapter 3 also should start with even pace. And this chapter number 4 starts on even pace. And chapter 5 starts, sorry, starts on even pace. So I, this reference also will go to the even pace. Uh, it's, it can go to the next pace, no matter. And references also, reference linking, let me place these references 
to in a new page so next page okay this way the section break is applied in my document now every new chapter starts on an even page and there are section breaks inserted very well now let's suppose i wish to present these paragraphs in two columns but not the following part this part is good as it is here but i need to divide these paragraphs into two columns so what should i do just here i should place one section break and the kind of section break required is continuous because i am not going to break page uh, right now only insert a continuous section break so after you just place one enter here so that you are you are not forced justified it's good now one section break is there this should be and here referring our earlier section break is in previous paragraph over here and this section break is here i don't want to uh, place this heading inside the column so one section break of continuous type it's better to insert here also continuous now we have kept these paragraphs in a separate section so now what you, you can do is simply go to the layout columns and two columns that's it very easy isn't it heading is there in the middle two columns on the side and lower part we didn't make any change so this way you can insert columns onto your document so you saw next page section break can be there if you select this next page the new section will start in another page if you insert continuous kind of uh, section break the new section will start right from there where it where the insertion line was placed and even page this will start a new section on the next even page number available uh, odd page will start a new section in the next odd numbered page so these four kinds of uh, section breaks are there in ms word uh, finally what are the differences between section break and page break now with this discussion you should be able to distinguish between these two different kind of breaks like we can insert the page breaks also and we can insert the section break also but what's the difference between those two well page break it helps to separate content between pages that's the only thing so just insert a page break and the content will be split it into two different pages that's all but in case of section break it will split your document into sections enabling you to have different formatting for each section for example different page numbering uh, margin header footers page orientation borders etc so you can have different set of those formatting for different sections similarly page break uh, after a page break the text will start at the beginning of next page in case of page break but in case of section break it can continue right from the insertion line position or it can take you to the next page or next even page or all page depending upon what kind of section break you had inserted similarly the page break do not store any formatting information it is just to separate content into two different pages but in case of section break they store information the formatting information like uh, uh, like all those we talked about here they store the column information the footnotes and endnote information header footer information a uh, line numbering information mass in space borders so th all this formatting information it is stored there in the uh, section formatting so they store so this was the differences between the section break and page break Thank you. Hope you have learned a little bit about the section breaks, uh, their types, and why you need them, and how to insert them. Before finishing, I'd like to show you how you can delete those section break marks 
that is also needed uh, like we can show those section breaks by turning on the show hide button here here is one section break here is another one section break or the another way is the next way is that you can click on the view menu and go to the draft view you can see all the section break marks placed there it's much more easier to find section breaks this way isn't it so to remove them you can just click on the section break there's an instance line blinking and press delete key on the keyboard the section break mark is deleted similarly for this section delete and this is a page break mark you cannot delete this is the soft page break or automatic page break here is a section break click it and delete similarly down here also we have got a section break mark click it and delete uh, you can delete this section break mark. It's very easy, isn't it? Click it and delete. Similarly, you can also search, uh, use find and replace dialog box to find all section break marks and replace them with a space or with a paragraph mark or with nothing at all as you need if you use find and replace dialog box. We will talk about that dialog box uh, method some other time. For now, this is the easiest way to remove all the section breaks that I had inserted earlier. Now it's very much like the original version before I started doing any formatting to this one. Okay, thank you for your time. And you can ask me questions. Don't forget to leave your comment. And I will appreciate if you like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.